Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and Country Wood Products. Some packages came in the mail really quickly, I must say. I ordered these yesterday, the very same day that I did my intro video for the sawmill. Amazon is pretty impressive, I have to say. So, let us go with this first because I think that this goes to this. And I hope this is what I think it is. If so, things are moving quickly. What we have here is part of the next step in working on the sawmill. We have here a variable speed motor controller so what we have is forward, stop, backwards, or up, stop, down for the sawmill. We have here a speed display, which is really cool. And we have here the speed controller. And this is rated at 60 amps with a burst of 100, which is more than double that tiny, tiny circuit board in the original Norwood control box. This might fit in the original control box, which would be awesome if it does. I can then, and this is the same thing, I got two. So one is for forward and backward, and one is for up and down. I will be installing these probably um, Monday. Today is Saturday. So I will be getting these going and uh, putting it together. But we can't run a mill, really a commercial operation, with this, okay, this is ridiculous. It works and all that, but we're not gonna be using it. This is good, not this. So I went and got, let me see what, this is probably the other one. Okay, I went and got some switches and I'm hoping, I really hope, that one is momentary. Yes, this one, which comes with up and down. All right, momentary contact switch, mill up, stop, mill down. Okay, that's going in place of this, perfectly labeled. So that's next, and then I got another one, which says up and down, but I'm hoping that we have here a, I hope it's not momentary. Oh, it did not say momentary. This is not supposed to be. This one actually f feels like garbage. Yeah, I don't like that. This one is garbage, actually. This is absolutely feels like garbage. Okay, well, I'm going to complain about that. Um, it's supposed to be momentary. This one is not. Or, I mean, uh, not moment. This one's not supposed to be momentary. This one is. So, this is wrong. What I need is for the... Uh, the mill to run down the tracks. I can get by with this, because what I can do is just sit there. I'm going to be sitting in a chair anyway. I could be holding it and driving it down the mill, or down the rails, let go, and it stops. But, I don't know. I think I don't like that switch. But for the up-down, this is absolutely perfect. Now, there's something big. The reason I'm doing this at the truck. Look at that. I've gone and done it. This is... A Predator 670, 670cc V-twin horizontal shaft engine. A beast of an engine. Look at that with the cooling fins, the radiator. I believe that's oil cooler. It's got an oil cooler, an oil filter. 
Um, electric start, so I have to find dig up myself a battery for that. Um, control panel here, which I'm going to have to um, work on extending the throttle cable to run off the um, solenoid on the mill because that is an on off switch that I'm going to have to set up as well. Also, oh, there's something else I got in the mail. I'll be right back. Something else I got is a 100 foot spool of trailer wire. I'm hoping they're um, combined because this is going to be the control wires for from the remote control if I can't get the original remote control to work and the original wires which seem to be a little bit roughed up they want they want two hundred dollars yeah good that's what I was hoping they want two hundred dollars for the wire for that mill to replace the wire just the wire with the two ends this year hopefully if I get my brain on straight some of you know that works sometimes, some times it doesn't. This here will give me the wires I need to make my own remote control box. I'm going to just have a switch panel sit where I sit. So I'm going to have all the valves and then all my, my, uh, my switches to run the mill. So that should work out beautifully for me. So there we have... I got some work to do on Monday. I figured I'd share that with you now. Things are going to move very, very fast on this mill build. It has to, because I need to step it up. And uh, I'm starting to saw more lumber. And the little mill has served me well, and I'm going to keep it. But I need to be able to saw with a bigger capacity and reduce the wear and tear on my body. It is tiring. So the, all of this is going to help out a lot. Well... There's another video. Stay tuned. Please do click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notifications of further videos because more are coming. Talk to you later.